man. You cannot take anybody for granted. So, uh... There we go. He's ready on Maxo Club. Okay, we can get this started. Good luck, nice. have fun, everybody. <laughs> and you have your respective <laughs> countdowns. We see this in a lot of these uh, gaming competition esports and such. Yeah, there you go. Three, two, one. Let's go. And it's working. You know, That's what I like to see. <laughs> All right. Players get to listen to us. Commentators talk about them and analyze them and stuff. And it's definitely a, a, a new thing for a lot of these players, you know, to have to go through experience hearing people talk about one of them as favorites and such. <laughs> right, right. On the big stage. Uh, this is pretty much as big as it gets for uh, classic Tetris players. That's the world of sports, man. That's the of competition. People gonna talk about you like that. <laughs> Feels weird. <laughs> but you're here, and that means you absolutely deserve to have your accolades discussed. Miss the tuck. Miles missed the tuck right there to, mm -hmm. to prevent that little gap yeah. on column eight. Yeah, had a spin error too, so maybe a little bit of nerves going into this, but um, I'm sure once we get flowing here, Miles is a very accomplished player and is going to bring his, hopefully his A game. He's one of the stronger uh, players in my eyes, and he is seated at a, uh, oh, what is his seed? 23 seed, which is uh, respectable considering um, what we saw at the top uh, 20 with all the max out players. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, according to this, neither Miles or Anthony have been able to play in the CTWC up until this point. So again, you know, the ability to allow players without the, the, the convenience of traveling easily to join in this competition this year is something that is unique for this year. And one of the silver linings of the, the pandemic is that, you know, this kind of opens up the field to more people. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, we definitely, not just uh, Tetris, but all games in general, saw a big spike on yeah. Twitch and uh, communities growing online because of it. Because, you know, there's more people doing activities inside. And this is one of the, yeah. the gaming, online gaming is a, obviously a great activity for it. And I endorse it personally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously online is going to be important. And I feel like you know, what this year has taught us is how to run a lot of these things online. And it's gonna be a major factor in the future for all of gaming, including Tetris in the coming years. Doesn't mean that we don't need the offline events anymore. I right. still think the offline events, however, are still gonna be important and gonna be one of the main things. But, you know, by having these players have a chance to show their medal uh, in these online events like this, you know, hopefully at one point in time, we can start getting Tetris players sponsored on esports teams and mm -hmm. that allows them to travel. So these online events will give them the exposure. P teams will be able to see what these guys are capable of. They'll be added to, you know, ro team rosters and everything like that. And then they will have the ability to go to the Classic Tetris World Championship offline that they didn't have the opportunities for in the past. 100%. I mean, uh, that's how so many players have got recognized and, uh, you know, are aware of this tournament is just their um, online practice and being part of the online community. Um, so it is nice that, uh, you know, everyone can get recognized in this way because it's accessible to everyone to some extent, as long as you have an internet connection, which um, I would hope every good Tetris player has a good internet connection. <laughs> there could be some uh, some people out in the woodwork, you never know. Yeah, definitely one of those. Uh, <laughs> internet is just basically as val you know is as much as a as a as a necessity as electricity, water, gas. You know all those things these days. Right. Importance of uh, utility aside, we got uh, BV or Brendan ahead up up on the top game by about. Uh, just about two Tetrises. Miles, Miles is a uh, has some work to do. He's only hitting about 300k at this uh, the uh, 100 line mark. So Anthony on a much stronger pace on this bottom game. Yeah, 
as mentioned before, despite the fact that the records and the ELO rankings show that uh, Miles is probably a favorite in this match. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, cat lover here. Hard to ignore. Yeah. <laughs> the, cat hope the cat doesn't hit anything. It's right. Well, that's that's the question. I, I speak from experience. Is when the cat <laughs> hops in front of your CRT, is that going to come into play here? Yeah. Those are the factors that you don't have to experience yeah. at the <laughs> offline tournaments. <laughs> no cat peril. <laughs> the but cat factor. I, well, as, I was, as I was saying, uh, uh, you know, despite the fact that, you know, uh, Miles record wise shows that he's probably the favorite in this match, you know, look at Anthony already transitioning here on a great pace at this point. Look at this 67% rate doing super well you cannot you know go easy on anybody here at this event everybody is so strong for sure um yeah anthony versus miles actually is a great matchup and i could see it going either way i i lean towards miles just because of his tournament experience online but uh, anthony has been up and coming and can definitely bring it here meanwhile up top we have a close game post transition between uh brendan and phantom about uh Two Tetris difference here. Maybe a little more. Yeah. But you can see right now Anthony with almost a six Tetris lead, but oh, what a tough Ooh. one. Oh, no, the IPs came too late. Okay, so this is interesting here. So he's got a six Tetris lead. So the work for Miles is clearly not, you know, this is not easy for Miles. He's going to have to put in some work, especially with that IP yeah. going <laughs> There, oh boy. Oh, uh, okay. I like that he brought it down. He didn't want to risk it. Yeah. Um, he has the time to not risk it, so good discipline there for not going for that. Even though he is hyper tapping right now, it's uh, why risk it? Why not just take the safe burn? So good uh, discipline. I mean, there. at level 21, he's got a long way to go before yeah. he has to start panicking, so he can just take his time right now, just play safe. Wait for the long pieces, burn when he needs to. Oh, well, that burn when he needs to is not happening. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> he probably is comfortable playing a little higher, but uh, you, you are right, he is getting drowded. Does get the eyepiece finally, that's a oh, relief. There we go. Uh, meanwhile, up top, we have a neck and neck game between uh, Brendan and Phantom. Um, Brendan barely in the lead here yeah, after that like Tetris. Their elos are so close to each other that it's probably expected to be a very close match between these two competitors up, up on the top. Yeah, okay, finally got that hole on the eighth column there exposed. And yeah, Brendan now set up. Boom, Tetris for Brendan. Oh, unfortunate situation Ooh, for Phantom. Phantom. Yeah. Topping out. So that means. Yep, Brendan, Brendan is the winner, two and two Miles two. just uh, passed the threshold. So Miles and yeah. Brendan take game one. Hmm. Like the emotion there from Miles. Yeah, he's got to be feeling good, especially... <laughs> I'm sure once he saw Anthony top out when he was so far behind, he was feeling good. Yeah. Now, okay. One of the hardest things about this game is just... That, like I said, that risk and reward. How uh, how hard do you push for that one piece that you need to save yourself before you start burning? Because the, the worst thing about it is every time that you decide to stop chasing that piece and you cover that hole, that piece comes next. And that, <laughs> that pain holds in your heart for so long that it makes you want to hold out and risk going for you know the, the that one piece that you need mm -hmm. way more often than you probably should i do think it's a skill to just literally you just have to do your best and forget about it oh yeah um something happened on brendan's side there I wonder if there's a way i can reconnect him mm -hmm. real quick um yeah. sorry people at home we've definitely lost a feed over there but let's see if i can get it back i don't know if i can yeah, meanwhile, right now, Anthony in a little bit of a bind. Actually, good clean right there. Beautiful stuff. And he's going to keep it going. Nicely done from Anthony. 
Looks like BV is still playing, though. I, I wonder if we can get his feet up. At, when I grab the screenshots, he is... Oh, is he connected? Yeah, he's still connected. Right now, BV is sitting at 74,000, according to uh, my screenshot. Ooh, nice little dirty Tetris for Anthony. And very nicely done cleaning. Also, great pieces here, perfect. And now Anthony has his field back down. Oh, and then right when I say that, I commentators cursed him. Tried to get his dad's back right there and uh, move the move the piece a little bit too early, unfortunately. I'm getting a verdict here on this BV09 game. Looks like they're still playing, and he is like connected to Max Out Club, so uh, maybe I can just give score updates if we want to play it that way. We'll, we'll see what the ruling is here. Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, that's why I've been focusing on the match on the bottom right mm -hmm. here. Uh, Anthony's done a good job cleaning, but of course all that burning is going to put him down. So uh, he is still about three Tetrises behind uh, Miles. Miles at a 50%, 54% rate. Anthony at a 30% Tetris rate. But you can see the difference is only three Tetrises. Okay, we're going to... Unfortunately, we're going to start over on this top game. Um, mm, okay. It is early enough, so it's not a big deal. We caught it early. And um, the, I mean, unfortunately, uh, Phantom had a pretty decent lead, but uh, so we're going to have to do. Oh, what? Why did? How did his game come back? I think he must have tabbed out or something. Oh, so gotcha, gotcha. we need to, yeah, players definitely need to be reminded not to tap out because we lost his feed. He was connected, but it wasn't uh, showing up. Uh, we're all connected in this life. <laughs> it's like I said, I'm never going to hear that word while we're in Tetris and not just want to start singing it. Thank you, Kirby, in the chat for putting the musical note in there. I appreciate you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Anthony has taken a lead now. So you can see here, Anthony doing a great job here, doing having to do a little bit of a burn. Let's see how he resolves this interesting situation. Uh, oh, yeah, he needed to slide that in there. Okay. Trying to set himself. Okay, no, he's not going to. I was wondering if Anthony was going to try to go for a column nine Tetris, which is always a huge risk. But he is getting those long bars at just the wrong opportunity here. Okay, we're going to start on top here. I think, uh, oh, Phantom, look up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I think the cat just gave the stream a slow blink. Okay, we're better. We're good on top now. Oh, the cat! I just just noticed the cat. I was so fixated on this uh, top game here. <laughs> Hanging out. So we have a few fans. We have an actual audience. <laughs> yeah. Of course, people who watch my streams a lot know that I am a big cat person, so I definitely appreciate that. Although my cats would have walked in front of my monitors by now basically yelling at me to feed them, so... I think Anthony's cat is far more well-behaved than my cat's. But again, Anthony falling a little bit behind because of the cleaning that he had to do. But still with the clean play field, both players right now with clean play fields. And boom, Tetris for Miles. Anthony now just waiting for that long bar, hitting a 18, oh there it is. Boom, Tetris for Anthony and a beautiful transition into another immediate Tetris. So we are in a good spot for Anthony right now, although a couple of bad pieces right there. He's gonna have to do some fixing. There we go. And now needs a piece to drop on the right there, gets the one, gets one of them. And now the column is open up again over there. And perfect, he's Tetris ready again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he needs a. He is getting droughted, but 
he needs to get caught up a little bit, so every Tetris is going to feel pretty good at this point. Smiles is uh, also behind um, on line count by about, you know, 15 lines, which is a significant amount. Yeah, which means in. that even though the score is only a one Tetris deficit for Anthony, oh. actually could be a lot more, especially if Anthony... Ugh, can't, you can't get, get over no. yeah. a rough uh, he hung an eyepiece on the left and that's like the worst piece to hang because it literally if it forced his board up you know five higher than it should be um so unfortunate and miles you are the winner of game two got a tiger woods what... fist clench the, the, the Tiger Woods action going there. <laughs> but, you know, that that's, again, uh, you know, and it's rough because, you know, I know that, uh, you know, you kind of hinted at this a little bit, but, you know, it's the future feels like it's hyper tapping. And, uh, of course, Anthony is the only Daz player that we have on the screen right now. And that eyepiece, you know, hitting the top of the board like that is definitely, you know, one of the things that happens to Daz players a lot. Hyper Tappers can definitely get that over there a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay, game three. Miles and Anthony starting up. Meanwhile, up top, pretty even game. Uh, Brendan ahead by a, a Tetris and some change. Ooh, nice. Back-to-back, -back, Jay. Well, not back-to-back, -back, but two quick J pieces allowing him to fill out that column off to the left. Right. And there you go. Boom Tetris for Brandon. Miles has some interesting placements there. He's going to have to work through, take some burns. Phantom goes for the Tetris instead of filling out that column, but then gets the eye piece that he needed. And now he's Tetris ready again. Boom, Tetris for Phantom. Yeah, this is a great matchup up top. Um, Phantom is not somebody I've seen a whole lot in the uh, the uh, CTM scene or any online scene. But uh, it seems like he is very capable of putting up these high scores. And I, I just believe in him just because of his setup. He's set up to, for success there. <laughs> and he's at a 64% Tetris rate, so he is definitely on pace for a max out. Try waiting for Brendan to get another Tetris so I can see what his rate is. 60%. So there you go. Phantom in the lead right now in terms of Tetris rate, which is probably one of the stronger indicators of who's in the lead. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, that's a good way to pretty much. It kind of covers all ground, right? It covers yeah. their their pacing. Their uh, you don't really have to look at line count or whatever. If if someone has a higher Tetris rate, they usually or they are ahead. So yeah. Um, oh, this drought right now. Oh, but he still manages to get the Tetris. That is Brandon, of course, mm -hmm. that I'm talking about here. Yeah, he so had a hole tricky. in the bottom there, but it looks like. He might be able to fill it in nicely with that L piece and get yeah. back to a better board state. Oh, I like that burn. Meanwhile, score check for the bottom players. 211k for uh, Anthony and 163k for Miles. So Anthony with a bit of a lead there too. Cat checking him out, making sure everything's okay. But you can also see uh, Anthony at 64 lines and uh, oh, right. Miles is just at 55. Good so. catch. Oh, good pieces for Miles. Uh, sometimes, you know, as much as the RNG can feels like it's against you, sometimes you just get those pieces and it's, you just have to acknowledge that, yes, thank you, RNG. <laughs> Some tense uh, stacking there for Brendan for a moment. Well, still, it looks like he's finally going to clear it up here. Get some good pieces. He wants to get back to that right well, I would assume. Yeah. But look at look at the lead that Anthony has right now. Oh, wow. About five Tetris lead. But remember, Anthony topped out a little bit earlier last time, which just gave Miles the opportunity right. to take his time 
to make the catch up. So uh, this might be more about Anthony trying to play it a little bit safer at this point, but then playing it safe gives, of course, the risk of the opponent having the opportunity to come back, make the comeback. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, I think uh, judging by what we have seen and just uh, maybe experience in the past that I think uh, Miles probably has a stronger level 19 in general. So Anthony getting this 18 lead is definitely going to put him in a comfort zone. And Miles shaking his head is that uh, almost taunting his opponent in a way. But uh, <laughs> yeah. That was a beautiful setup and tuck from uh, Miles to, to, to drop the piece to block column 9 but then just slid the eyepiece right in there. I don't know if that was a well, it definitely wasn't a Daz error because Miles is a hyper tapper. Okay, Brendan in a lot of trouble up top. Needed that eyepiece right away. Guess at the last second for one line, but not going to. Uh, that one line won't give him 50k, so Phantom does take game two. Phantom is the winner. All right, so Phantom. Relief right there gets to level 25. Just gonna let it top out real quick. Yeah, I guess that. I guess when it freezes like that, it's probably just him tabbing out or something. Yeah, it's probably something. Just needs to refocus, I guess. Yep. Uh, and Phantom, once I get it ready from you, we'll get this next team started. Looks like he's about to hit ready. <laughs> but look at this lead right now from Anthony. That is a. That's like a seven Tetris lead right now. And he is just getting some good pieces right now. He should be able to, yeah, clear that gap. Not Tetris ready. He'll take the triple, but because he has that giant lead, and like you said, uh, he can see that score differential from right. where he's at. He knows he doesn't have to push too hard at this point. Oh, a missed Daz situation from Anthony once again, creating that awkward column over there. But he's going to clean it out pretty quickly because the, the stack wasn't too high and it wasn't too crazy. So he had the proper ability just to recover from that pretty easily. All right, Miles, a little behind here, just hits that transition. And uh, it's looking to get caught up. Anthony does have a significant lead, uh, no matter who you are. So Anthony's gonna be feeling good if he is aware of his uh, lead here. And Miles probably knows he needs to do some, uh, do some aggression, put on the, throw down the Tetrises, which he is doing so far. Uh. But the hardest part right now is, so is Anthony. Anthony is keeping up on the Tetris pace, and that's what's making this really hard for the comeback right now. But uh, Anthony is running into a little bit of an awkward situation here. Nothing too terrible, just that it, he his Tetris rate isn't the same as it was earlier. And he got the two eyepieces when he didn't need them, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Okay. Can he get something to the left? He can with a quick tap. He gets it. Great quick tap. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Now he needs to figure out a way to slide that. Okay. Nice. Long Tetris. Meanwhile, Phantom tops out. Brendan, you are good for uh, game three here. Brendan takes the third point. Tetris for oh, Miles. Yeah. Miles had to play aggressive. Look, he was yeah. 130,000 points behind. Granted, he was 20 lines behind, but still, 20 lines being down. I mean, even if he had gotten five Tetrises, he would not have caught up in those 20 lines. So the pressure was definitely on for Miles. So much happened between both games in like 20 seconds there. Uh, it all came to a climax. But uh, yeah, Anthony oh, able yeah. to take the win and had a convincing lead pretty much the whole time. You see that on Phantom? I saw the chat actually point this out. 55 drought for the IP. Oh no. 55 drought. Yeah. So sometimes the RNG will come and get you no matter how well you want to play. Oh, that is brutal. Right, you know, you know how cold. we were talking about earlier, like you you don't want to expect a piece. After 50 pieces, everyone expects that piece. You're like, all right, any time now. <laughs> right? We got some Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead situations here going here. <laughs> Sorry for the crazy literary reference here. It's flipping those heads over and over and over again on the coin. That is pretty high drought. I'm, I'm not really sure on the history of the highest drought we've had on like a CTWC, but uh, 55 is up there. That's up there. 
That is a brutal drought, man. Okay. Uh, can't. Yeah, he's waiting for the uh, the 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 S piece on the left right there. He's ha he has uh, Miles has had quite an S piece drought. Obviously, you don't notice that as badly as the line bar, but he right. seriously has not gotten an S piece in forever. There it is, the first S piece in like, like thirty pieces or something. Yep, all pieces matter. <laughs> So Miles also doing that, uh, you were touching on it earlier, this game he was kind of using that double well to his advantage, um, right, right. some safe burns, and like he got bad RNG there, but he actually, oh he's actually still getting bad RNG, but, um, see so he can clear Ugh. this out. Yeah, no, uh, no snapping in any S or Z pieces in those kind of gaps. Brendan tops out early at 83,000. Ooh, dang, yeah. So that means uh, Phantom's already won game number four. So he's done. He doesn't even need to continue forward at this point. Yep, he knows it. He's going to top out. So we have a D-Cider up top. D-Cider. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A missed Daz from Anthony. He's going to put himself into an awkward position. He should be able to clear this out, yeah. Chooses to build a gap over there. Uh, yep. Now, if he can just get a long bar. Oh, man. Oh, those pieces no. were not going Anthony's way at all. I think and Miles was kind Miles of watching there. Good. I think he knows what's going on. And uh, yeah, so, Miles, Miles you are good for game four here. And, and just in general, you take the game. And he is pleased about it. Moving forward, Anthony's like a, a tough opponent, so I I feel for him there. Um, I like the passion and energy from Miles, definitely very uh, pleased with that. And uh, like I said, Anthony had that really strong game, but unfortunately, this game here was kind of uh, kiboshed by the uh, by the bad RNG. Um, I just need a ready from both players on the top game. For some reason, the here let me just try resetting these games. Okay, so here we go. It's going to be game number five between these players here. Oof. Oh, wait, I'm looking okay. at the bottom And over there on the uh, on stream one, it looks like Sharky just defeated Nenu uh, in a four, rank 41 to rank nine match. Sharky really? with the wow. upset. Yeah. That's a pretty big taking one. It, they knew is a taking, powerhouse. Taking three to two. Wow. All nice right, we're getting guy. started with this decider. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Tetris. Let's go. Always fun to start with a bunch of S's and Z's, but no problem. Handles it pretty well. And, uh, you know, most players at this level are not going to be pressing down at any point on the controllers. So, mm -hmm. you know, having to tuck one of those S or Zs, you know, under an S or a Z very early on, usually not a problem. But kind of starting with a drought already for uh, Phantom, but never mind, gets a Tetris. And so, yeah, there you go. Both players pretty much on pace, neck and neck. Yeah, so Brendan is also our 10 seed, which is a pretty high seed, and Phantom only the 55, so he's on track for an upset here if he can take this game 5. Right, pretty good stacking from both players. Nothing major to note. Alright. Yeah, just, it's just that's, oh, actually perfect. That I and J was perfect and gives them the Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Phantom. And now still neck and neck. Look at this, 380 points separating the two players right now. 
Had to go for a little extra burn, did Phantom. So there you go, boom, Tetris for Phantom. And now he's taking the virtual lead, not an actual lead. Because you can see the stack is a little, well, actually, no, now a little bit more burn. So that one Tetris lead is actually a, a, a genuinely full lead at this point in time. Yep, they're just going to be trading leads at this point with their Tetrises. Um, this is what you want to see. I want to see a, a strong 18 game on this uh, decider so that we can get the photo finish kill screen. <laughs> so uh, they're on track here. Yeah, once again, no pressure. <laughs> right. Final game here, deciding who stays in the winner bracket. Yeah, no big deal. Okay. He's, uh, Brendan is set up. Nice T spin. And back to back Tetrises. He's playing modern Tetris yeah, here. He's got, got the, the bonus. And back to back right there. Phantom having to do a little bit of cleanup. So, yeah, that lead that he had earlier, no longer there. He's going to set himself a pseudo dirty go. Tetris yeah. here on row two. Gonna see if he can try to burn his way down. No, he's just gonna stick that out with the row two Tetris for now, leaving row one uh, in dirty form here. He's gonna be able to set up for a Tetris. Now he's just waiting for the long bar. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Brendan having to do a little cleanup himself. Oh, oh, rough pieces for Brendan. Yeah. Okay, got good pieces to fix it up there. Hopefully it gets a long bar. Okay, the well, the long bar is going to have to go on the there. left over there. Well, that's going to feel nice, but that that little box right there is still being very annoying. Yeah, interesting yeah, decisions. Forced to, create, forced to create a gap, unfortunately, for himself. I think he saw some other options, but, you know, when you're up that high on 18, it may... It seemed like you can make those changes quickly, but even uh, BB's a fast tapper too, or Brendan. So yeah. even if you are a fast tapper, it can be hard to make those adjustments without air. It's so crazy because when we're looking at the, when you're looking at Phantom, I don't think we're getting a mirror image of his feed from his camera, but because he's facing us, it actually looks like the controller makes sense. Like left is going left and right is going, but it's just, it's upside down for him. <laughs> it's still so fascinating to me. Doing some live, uh, there we go. Make it look nice here. <laughs> look at there we go. Nice. nice. All right. Got to do a little bit of burning and Tetris for Brendan. Tet uh, so now basically a one Tetris lead. However, uh, Phantom is down by. Uh, actually, no, never mind. Now we are neck and neck. This is mm -hmm. this is coming down to the wire here for these two players. This is coming down. Wow. We are this getting is a great a, match. We are getting the close match that we wanted here. Yeah, forced to do a little bit of burning. He's going to need three eye pieces there unless he drops something to the side. Uh, is Phantom. Yeah, there we go. Drop something over there. In an attempt to kind of do a reverse uh, commentator curse, I don't think we're going to hit the kill screen, personally. <laughs> you know, what I've learned is reverse commentary curse <laughs> never works. <laughs> but I appreciate So pretty much I just cursed him. Yeah. And I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Yeah, no way. Not going to have it. <laughs> All right. Brendan here getting himself set up for a Tetris, but he's got the 14 drought. Never mind. There it is. Boom. Tetris for Brendan and the transition. You can see right now that Phantom is getting close to that transition. He is waiting for that long bar as well. Ooh. That is not coming. He's as a oh, 20, there 60 pound. There it is. Boom. And the transition. Yeah, he's going to have to start doing some cleanup here real fast. But yeah. he's doing well. Look at this. And boom, Tetris for Phantom again. But now he's down a little bit by mm -hmm. three Tetrises or so. Yeah, BB with a comfortable lead, especially given that Phantom has to do some burning. And given the caliber of these two players and how close it has uh, been so far, 
this small lead might be significant, so we'll see what can happen if Phantom can actually uh, get get cleaned up and get caught up here. Mm, gave himself a, uh, an L piece requirement there. Okay, nice cleaning, but had to force a hole there in column number four. He's still gonna get the Tetris. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, there you go. Almost set up for another Tetris. Got a triple there. And uh, Phantom behind only by about two and a half Tetrises now. Honestly, there is one of the po he has two roads of victory right now. Just keep playing this way and keep trying to get as many Tetrises as possible, or maybe hope that uh, Brendan uh, tops out very, very soon. But that's just hoping that your opponent screws up, which is never the right way to go. Okay. Yeah, Brendan maintaining that lead. Um, Phantom is actually a little bit behind online, so Phantom can get caught up here, but every little... Mm, all these uh, small burns... I think he's aware that he needs to get this score to get caught yeah. up. He's four Tetrises behind. Four Tetrises behind. Ooh. Oh, that was such a nice adjustment. Exactly, I'm glad you saw that. That was a huge adjustment. Yeah, the last second. Uh, no, yeah, he's he has to play aggressive at this point. He doesn't really have much of a choice, unfortunately. Yeah, the Tetrises are going to be worth more here, so Tetrises now can get him caught up, especially if... BV runs into a little... Ooh, board messing up here, unfortunately. <laughs> a little chaotic. Whoa. But keep playing, Phantom. Whoa. I hope that's not happening on his screen over there. No, it shouldn't be. Yeah, we're getting a Phantom Menace over there on that side. I'm getting his screenshot. So he's sitting at 740k. I think the okay, score is... Oh, okay, it's, it's back. It's back. Good. And uh, interesting situation for Brandon Ooh. right now. He is getting stuck. Oh no! So, at oh. level 27, Tetris. Oh no! Phantom him with some oh, rough no. placements. He could get caught up if he can somehow get a Tetris. I don't see how it's going to happen though. Right, this is a rough situation. He might not have enough time. He's already at level 28. The only way he can do this. He needs is a Tetris. Can get another. Oh, oh. that's a triple. Oh, look at this. 25,000 points short. 25,000 wow. points short. Oh my, that is a heartbreaker. <laughs> but there you go. Brendan is going to take it in a super close match. And you can sense the, the feeling of relief from Brendan there. Oh, absolutely. Uh, especially when you're the first to top out and then you just have to hope your player doesn't clutch it out like that and he was so close to clutching it out so great game to end it on i feel like he can't be too upset with that it really just came down to the wire and he had to kind of pull some strings to try to get that last tetris but wasn't able to do so setup that brendan has he's got like a little mini table that's designed to be the perfect size for that nest oh, i never noticed that. that that is pretty awesome it looks like an arm or like a arm off of a chair or wow. something that's crazy I love these setups that all these players have. That's pretty creative. Of course, you know, when you get the Daz players like uh, Anthony, it's just holding the controller as normal, right. <laughs> as expected. Kind of a can he tuck? Yeah, got it in there. Now he needs a couple of more line pieces uh, to get that Tetris over there on the right for Anthony. Gonna have to do a little burning. There we go. Boom, Tetris for Anthony. Phantom with a, a, a unusual start here. Got to do a little bit of cleanup himself. Yeah, he and is up fairly coming. high. Yeah, he, he's had the pieces have kind of made it so they had to keep covering up the hole over there on the col yeah. on column nine. Oh, perfect. Finally gets it. There we go. Cleans it out, and now he's Tetris ready. And boom, Tetris for Phantom. Anthony, though, meanwhile, is able to really show that he's he's killing 18 today so he's uh got a pretty significant lead uh early off here with only 20 lines
Yes, yeah, it looks like it's going to be hard to beat Anthony in the uh, 18 phase today, for sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, up on the top over there, uh, Brendan's kind of in an unfortunate situation. You see all those uh, those uh, two two deep columns, right? Those two depth columns, uh, valleys, basically that are that all Tetris players hate. We we know how painful that thing is. To get a triple nice great pieces for him here that one unfortunately wasn't as good and again the pieces are dictating that he's kind of forced to keep covering up the holes so he chooses just to try to get that burn in there but he is working hard to get down to tetris ready again and this is brandon of course that i'm talking about mm -hmm. yeah brandon, uh, tough situation but I believe he'll be able to get out of this, just knowing his uh, his tapping ability and uh, ability to burn properly. And yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, this but unfortunately, all that burning. Look at the lead that Miles has now. Yeah. He has a hundred thousand point lead, so it's about five Tetrises ahead. Finally, gets clear there. Can he get the long bar to get the first Tetris in a quite some time? No, Meanwhile, now he's getting a drought, of course. Yeah. Anthony also in a tough situation down on the bottom game. There we go. Finally. And yeah, you can see a 25% Tetris rate for, oh, no. for Brendan right now. Anthony's going to top out at uh, 213k, 65 lines. Just uh, had a few uh, misplacements and then it just spiraled out of control. Up, to, up, up high, it's easier to uh, make some mistakes too. So, uh, Phantom, you are good for game one. Meanwhile, Miles with a 60% Tetris rate, so he's on max out pace. But uh, Brendan, like I said, is going to have to do some work to catch up. So get it ready from Phantom. We'll get that game started. All right. At the bottom there, you see Phantom with the one game lead. I'm surprised he's a 55 seed after what I've seen, but to be fair, there's it's just insanely stacked in the 64 player <laughs> tournament, so you're going to have players like that as a 55 seed. And you know, there was one point in time, like I said, that uh, Miles had a 100,000 point lead. It's doing the, so that it's dwindled down from that five mm -hmm. Tetris lead to basically only a, only a three Tetris lead at this point. So, uh, Looks like Brendan doing a good job trying to catch back up. Nice job burning. And he's going to be set up for a Tetris. Let's see if he gets a long bar anytime soon. There it is. And boom! Tetris for Brendan. Still two Tetrises down. Yeah, I have about 25, 30 lines until transition as well. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty even game considering it's not not even two tetrises so brendan did a good job of getting caught up here all right anthony with a nice double well and fills it in properly to uh kind of level out his board and get back to a uh, tetris ready state and yeah. drops a tetris yep cat approves again yeah. <laughs> It looks like his TV is high enough where the cat can't get in the way. That's a uh, pretty good tech. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to copy that tech. Some important tech right there. Gonna go for a row two Tetris. It looks <laughs> like. Oh yeah. Hits it. There you go. Boom. And yep, gonna clean that out. Drop the T piece there. Get himself ready for a proper. 10th column Tetris. Transition top game. Uh, yeah, Miles still with that lead. And they're pretty equal on pieces right now, so this is a true lead. A boom Tetris for Brendan. Brendan's staying, staying back there, keeping the pressure on. But unfortunate, 
Ooh, RNG a little bit. No, actually, yeah. you know what? Brandon cleared it out well. Nicely done. But again, still requiring some burns. And he set up for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Brendan. But again, back down to three Tetris deficit. Eight, four Tetris deficit now. Right. Um, yeah, depending on how the RNG goes, like I said, or have it iterated, these uh, later levels, players can get caught up really quick if they... Uh, start tetrising while the other player is burning, so uh, Brendan definitely not out of this by any means, and uh, this is actually an amazing matchup. The more I think about it up top, I think these players are very even in general. Um, I'm not sure where their elo stands, maybe Rory might be in chat, Wonder or <laughs> the man in chat might know, but uh, I'm sure they're pretty close players. I think I can take a look at their elos over here. Let me see here. This is uh, Brandon and Miles. Are the ones that you're looking looking Correct. for here? Yeah. And they're both showing some pretty good stacking right now. Miles seems to spam left a little more, so he's kind of uh, has a bit more of a slope to his stack, so that Oof. he can take different burns. <laughs> Brendan and Miles are ELO ranked 20 and 24. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew they were pretty close. They I just they strike me as uh -oh. a very close matchup. Oh, Brendan hangs an eyepiece on top of the other one there, unfortunately. Yeah, and Miles takes it. it. Yeah, and Miles again with the emotion. I like Always it. super happy with that win, super excited. And a little bit of frustration on uh, Brendan's part. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so, not hitting that... Uh, he had one misplacement, then having the other misplacement, the double eye bar misplacement, or um, not, long bar, yeah. is uh, definitely something that could just lights out in an instant. So It's so crazy that an eye bar can be so instrumental to save you, and at the same time can destroy you so quickly. Alright, starting Ooh, game two. For Anthony. Anthony down by about one and a half Tetrises. And that's caused, of course, by the fact that Phantom is about eight pieces behind. Oh, true. I'm sorry, eight lines behind. My bad. So, very close match. Yeah. Phantom looking good here, but needs a long bar again, and that long bar is not showing up. There it is, finally. Boom, Tetris for Phantom. Meanwhile, Miles and Brendan have started again up top. Nice burn from Brendan to kind of bring his board back to a nice level state. Now it's getting a little hairy with those S and Zs, but gets a good triple. Yeah. Gotta burn right there. Gotta keep burning. No, he didn't burn that one. He's gonna use the square to burn. Yeah, a bit. There we go. Finally, bit of aggressive stacking there from BB. I think he he has a pretty strong tap speed, so he can get away with uh, stacking a little higher, a little more aggressively than a lot of players. Okay, I like that decision from Brendan. But again, kind of a drought here. Yeah, 13 piece drought. There we go, finally. Got it in there. Of course, uh, Trey's decision was to not show the drought counter until it passed 13, because that, as we mentioned, is the biggest drought in modern Tetris right now, based off of the seven bag system. So that was the decision for Trey to go with that number before it starts displaying the drought. Interesting. Phantom got bailed out there for a minute. It was looking really hairy, um, but was able to get a Tetris and take the proper burns to at least bring it back to a lower level where he can make his way back to that right well. Yeah, and you can see right now Phantom still down by about two Tetrises, though also down by uh, eight lines. So if he got two Tetrises in those eight lines, he's or Phantom's actually out. Phantom's in the lead right now just by a little bit. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. I think, okay, I think okay. Anthony can catch him, though, considering this situation. Yeah, there's one for him, so... Within a Tetris now. Little by little, making that comeback. Anthony go opting for a triple. Gets a single, another single, and again, you don't get combos in this game. And so, you know, getting <laughs> single, single, single 
won't do you much, unfortunately. Ooh, I thought Anthony might set up for that uh, aggressive Tetris. My aggressive tendencies might have done it, but Anthony, a little more calm and collected, probably <laughs> smart. Um, I've got a center well. A dirty Tetris did a uh, Phantom. Yeah, Phantom's been having a... Uh, he, he's showing some perseverance here on this post-transition. I feel like he's been trying to burn from up high for quite a while. He still maintains this lead, though, throughout the game. So neither player are really able to uh, take advantage of each other. Actually, now, yeah, finally, Anthony that, in the lead. Yeah. Having that point lead for Phantom is really nice. Now, his screen is getting a little crazy again, like we yeah, saw earlier. Yeah, I think it'll come back probably to some capture errors yeah. there. Let me grab a screenshot so we can just see what's happening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boom, Tetris for Miles. Miles with the one Tetris lead right now. And they are neck and neck on lines. So uh, for sure, this is a this is actually no, they're basically tied now. They're basically tied. Yeah, great matchup up top. Phantom looks like he's back in into the proper matrix, and uh, he's looking for that high piece. Yeah, but he's had to do a lot of burning, as you can see right now. Uh, Anthony took a lot, Ooh. a big lead. He did top out, but that was at the kill screen. And he's got a pretty significant yeah. lead here because uh, Phantom just hasn't been able to get any Tetrises. If Phantom can get, I don't know his ability on kill screen, but looking like he's not able to get to the right there. So um, Anthony's oh. going to take game two. Nicely done. Nicely done. Well played, Anthony. Anthony with a, a positive head nod there. A lot of head nods in this tournament, and it's pretty much our way to communicate with the players. <laughs> Alright, both players are ready, good luck. Meanwhile, up top, neither player has really garnered, like, a true lead. They keep trading with each Tetris, so a great matchup, and it's going to come down to uh, uh, level 19 once again. Yeah, and Anthony and Phantom have started, as we mentioned, one to one. Just waiting for, oh man, it's like you're waiting for the S piece or the T piece. You finally get the T piece, drop it there, right. and then they <laughs> give you the S piece. And now the S piece has nowhere to go. <laughs> I think as a player, a good trick is to, you have to look past that kind of stuff, like, Oh, I'm getting bad RNG. When that like takes over me mentally, you just stop thinking about the game sometimes. Literally just gotta oh, move yeah. on, just really just think about the next move to make. I get I, I realize I do that a lot, and then when I really try to focus and not do that, it seems to really help out. And I'm sure players <laughs> kinda I definitely that get mad at RNG yeah. way too much, and it definitely affects me. Yeah, there's some players out there that definitely get affected by it. It's extremely obvious. I have a few in mind, but I'm not sure if it would be polite of me to call them out. <laughs> Boom, Tetris for Anthony. Anthony and Phantom virtually tied. Phantom now ready for his Tetris. And if he does, he'll be tied again. There you go. Oh no, that was just a triple. Ooh, okay, okay. So he's going to be down by about half of a Tetris starting from this point forward. Mm -hmm. But there you go, Tetris for Phantom. And he is in the lead now, but because uh, Anthony is down in lines right now, if he gets another Tetris, he'll have it. He'll take the lead again. Mm -hmm. But actually, they're even in lines now. You can see all the, the cleaning and fixing right now that Anthony has to do. So that has given the opportunity for Phantom to take the genuine lead. Crazy close game up top here. They keep trading leads. They've been trading leads all game. Uh, level 24 for uh, Brendan. I guess one thing to note is Brendan is ahead on lines. So Miles actually does have a small lead, but he's taking some burn, so it's going to kind of even out again. Yeah, right now, kind of awkward pieces for uh, Brendan. Uh, actually, he cleaned that up really Ooh. nicely. And boom, Tetris. Nicely done. 
Now he just needs, okay, perfect T piece. But now he needs a J piece. He needs that J piece yeah. in that spot. Do oh, you want to wait for it? No. Actually, that worked wow. out perfectly for him. Boom, Tetris for Brendan. He's, he's getting a and bit of a lead. Yeah, oh. He's got a significant lead now. And then, oh, Miles yeah. with, a miss, with, with a misplacement right there. And yeah, that means that Brendan has taken game number two between these two players. So Brendan, victorious in that matchup. Let's see if he figures out that he won already. <laughs> well, maybe he wants to get that max out to uh, flex a little bit. We're already there. Um, I mean, even even in the live event, sometimes you'll see one person, w you know, top out and the other player doesn't even notice even though they're sitting side by side, you know? Right. <laughs> like I said, that's how focused they get. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, what pieces. <laughs> yeah, Brendan just needs a Tetris. There, oh. Oh, why? <laughs> Why'd you do that you to like, us? I want my max out coming. Come he just on. It, but it's all oh, meanwhile, uh, as we were so fixated on that, Phantom was in trouble and tops out. So Anthony only needs 11,000. Yeah, he could just do this by doubles and triples right now. He doesn't really need to do anything crazy. Although, this will do it right there. Pow! There you go, Anthony taking the 2 1 lead. All right, Anthony's got to be feeling good after that. Unfortunate you know, for Phantom. Up? And so Miles and Brendan, as we mentioned, having some really good matches. That's why they're only on game number uh, three here. Anthony and Phantom going to game number four. About to start. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, let's go. Let's go indeed. These are some hype matches. Um, I feel like the top match, you can't get any closer. Just knowing these players and uh, just what we've seen so far. They've just been back and forth this entire time. Ooh. Yeah, Brendan right now. Oh, no, actually, he's Tetris ready again. Interesting setup there. I actually like... Wow, look at that clean. That was nicely done by Brendan. He had a really bad piece, and I wasn't sure where he was going to drop that, but the location that he dropped it worked out perfectly for him. Now he's close to being Tetris ready again. Oh, that was so nice. Sets up that square piece over there, but unfortunately... There we go. Now he's set up for the Tetris. Yeah, meanwhile, bottom game, Anthony was uh, doing some pretty creative stacking, but then getting a bad RNG to follow. But even in the midst of that bad RNG, he was able to um, properly find some good solutions and keep his cool. Um, didn't really make any errors in his control, so good play by Anthony. But while that was happening, Phantom obviously taking this uh, about uh, three Tetris lead. Uh oh, missed drop by Brandon. Accidentally rotated that piece at the last second. Wasn't sure what happened there. So he's got this awkward gap now that he has to clear out there on the right mm -hmm. side. Oh, that is very he should awkward. really get through there. There you go. He needs one more long bar. Yeah, it came just in time. And he gets the J piece he needed as well. Things are definitely turning up Millhouse for him right now. <laughs> Probably good news for Miles. Oh, unless BB has this Tetris. This is a good chance for Miles oh to get caught up. Oh, he goes for it. it. Wow, that was a high up Tetris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the trick for going for those Tetris is, is you just got to be confident. You can't be second guessing yourself. If you're going for it, you're going for it. So might as well adapt and just uh, do your best to do those high burns if necessary. And like players that play aggressive like that all the time kind of have it down to a science of you know how far they can push themselves um so bb probably somebody that goes aggressive fairly often might you know um know when he has to stop right and tetris ready for both players wow that was a we had we had three three player simul tetris right there <laughs> Everybody getting a Tetris except for Brendan. Oh, that's unfortunate for Miles. 
awkward situation right now. Oh, good. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Cleaned Tetris. He's still about three Tetrises behind Brendan right now. <clears throat> Tournament lifeline here for uh, Phantom. He's uh, barely ahead right now in his game four, but he's got to win two games in a row in a very high stakes situation to uh, get caught up against a tough opponent. And I guess that goes for everyone in this tournament. This tournament is just absolutely stacked. I keep saying it over and over, but I feel like uh, sometimes the seeds aren't the most accurate because there's so many like talented players. Um, there definitely is going to be a lot of upsets. I mean, we had one on stream one already with uh, Sharky taking down Nenu. They were saying that he went down two round, two games to zero, and he made the comeback three in a row. Wow! Boom Tetris for Miles, and again, boom Tetris for Miles. So he's only one Tetris behind right now, and he's almost set up for another one. There it is. That's the piece that he needed. Ooh, nice double Getting some good pieces now, and he just needs the long bar, and boom! But still, all of a sudden, you know, Brendan getting a bunch of Tetrises as well, so right. Miles still hasn't been able to catch up yet. The uh, gap is closing, though, and uh, it's within a Tetris, essentially, at this point. Uh, unfortunately for Miles, he ended up with a, a Z-piece uh, blitz. Yeah, the Z Blitz can, sometimes you can, depending on your board state, Z, I feel like the Z Blitz can be one of the worst things in the game, but also sometimes if you have a flat board, you can kind of handle Z Blitz pretty well. But uh, at the wrong time, that's probably the most devastating burst or a square yeah, piece. S and, S and Z pieces are two of the most integral pieces that you have to keep setting up your board for it's why you kind of discover the the more you play tetris the more you realize it's like important to build gaps that are too wide so you know uh so it's easier to drop the s and z pieces in there Ooh. nice Gresham tetris by anthony anthony with about a three tetris lead he's transitioned uh, about five more lines for phantom to transition yeah, Phantom had a bit of a aspire himself. Speaking of uh, S and Z burst, he had a very high um, S piece stack going on there. And there's the transition now oh, for for Phantom, but he's got to do some work here. If he doesn't win this, he goes out of this tournament. And Anthony, you can see right now, with a strong lead, although he's already at level 21 and Phantom is still at 19. But Phantom still going for a couple of burns. Going to get the Tetris right there. So down, only down, but we did see Miles topping right. out already. Yeah, so, so Brandon is good. Brandon, yeah, he's going to get game number two. Uh, his game number two, I should say, in game number three. So coming down to... Um, yeah, game four. If Miles wants, Miles needs to win two in a row. Brendan needs to win one in a row to move on. So uh, that is the winner's bracket as well. So neither of them will get eliminated. But um, I feel Miles can bring this back. It is a very close matchup. Unfortunate uh, yeah. close transition there for really, him. really terrible Ooh. RNG for Anthony. But he's got about a one and a half Tetris lead. Phantom can definitely take this. He just has to play so careful right now. He set up for a Tetris, but instead decides to clean again. Like I said, he's playing safer. Yeah. The gap is so small that you certainly should. He still gets a Tetris anyway. Does it in style. And, uh, ah, there you go. Yeah, Phantom. he's taking it. You know what that Good means. Job, you know what chat Phantom. wants to hear? Chat wants to hear. It is a decider, everybody. <laughs> Pour yourself oh, a nice glass of decider. We've had a lot of deciders uh, so far today. So good phantom this point. Yeah, if Miles can win up at the top, we'll get another decider up there. I feel like that's going to happen. I'm pretty sure, um, given the two. But um, I would love to see a decider between those two, given how close it is. Yeah, but good cleaning right there from Miles. Uh, he'll be behind by one Tetris as a result. 
Uh, you can see he's up four lines, uh, and actually, no, basically tied right now. Basically tied. Okay. Because, yeah, right now, Brendan's having to do a bunch of cleaning. Meanwhile, you see Anthony and Phantom ready to go for game number five in their matchup. This is the loser's bracket. Remember, the loser of this is out of the tournament. Right. Very high stakes here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Cat's in the room, ready to cheer on. Uh, I'm not sure if the cat is a boy or a girl, his or her friend. <laughs> and yeah, exciting match. Phantom even saying in the chat that they weren't even aware that they had won that last one. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just get laser focused in. Like you're not going to look away from your CRT sometimes in a close match. So. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, great, uh, great game from Phantom there, and see if Miles can bring it to a decider. I saw in the corner of my eye that James got up to stretch, and that's probably a good idea. I'm hunched <laughs> over here. You're exposing my secrets here. I was trying to do that all silently so no one knew. I know them. the secrets of commentary now. Yeah. I've never done that. Ugh. Every once in a while, you got to do that. All right, getting ready for a Tetris. Anthony's ready to go. There you go. Boom, Tetris for Anthony. Meanwhile, on the top, you can see Brandon with a clean play field. Mm -hmm. But on the Miles' side, oh, man, there are gaps everywhere right now. Yeah, Miles has some serious work to do. He's getting great pieces to clean it up. And uh, yeah. wow, almost perfect yeah. pieces. Oh, nice adjustment there. Yeah, the cleaning is, is, is obviously he's doing super well. And... That's not the concern. The concern is just the inability to get Tetrises. And right. you can see his Tetris rate is only at 44%. So as a result, he is down by almost four Tetrises now. Yeah, he drops another one. So bring it back a little bit. And I think BV has some burning to do. So Miles shouldn't be, uh, be feeling too bad here. And meanwhile, bottom, Anthony with a Tetris lead, pretty much on the dot and it's going to have to run through some burning here in a, in a moment after some awkward SNZ pieces that he received. Yeah, really kind of awkward position right now for Phantom. Although he set himself up for Ooh. a center row Tetris. There you go, dirty Tetris. Uh, but still got to do some more cleanup over here to try to get back to that 10th column over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's setting himself up for another dirty Tetris, and he's gonna get it! Wow. Beautiful dirty Tetris to put himself right back into position right. for another Tetris. And another one. And boom! Tetris for <laughs> Phantom. Beautiful. Yeah, great play. Honestly, going for those Tetrises, like, he wouldn't be in, in the lead otherwise, so that's a case of those dirty, aggressive Tetrises paying off, because he's been draining Tetrises since. Yeah. And so he has about a two Tetris lead right now. And he's also behind in lines too, which is important because that means it's probably more than just a two Tetris lead. Yeah, so there you go. Well, yeah, it's about a two Tetris lead now. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're pretty much even on line count now. Maybe we're yeah. gonna just be trading with the Tetrises. 36% Tetris rate from Anthony. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty similar for Phantom right now. Okay, yep, 46%. 46. Okay. But now some cleanup on Anthony's side. Meanwhile, up top, Miles uh, having trouble closing that gap. That kind of happened early on, and uh, still about three Tetrises behind. Uh, this is game point for Miles, so he can't afford to lose this one. So he's probably thinking about how he can bring this back. Yeah, of course, on the bottom half of the screen, this is game point for both of the players. One of them is going out of the tournament. Ooh, that's a tense feeling. Oof. Especially no with all pressure. these being best of fives now. It's just, uh, it seems to put <laughs> so much pressure on that last game. Good burn from uh, Anthony, set himself up for a Tetris. Phantom still trying to get through there, has it ready to go, but 
Gonna block it there. Ah, oh, it's not the piece that he needed. Oof. He needs he needs uh, to clear out some more lines here. The lead has shifted over to Anthony's side. But again, because Anthony's ahead so many in lines, not really a, a significant lead. And boom, Tetris for Phantom. And yeah, now uh, with about a one and a half Tetris lead with equal lines. Nice tuck right there from Brendan. That's always yeah, one of the harder <laughs> ones to do. All right, Tetris ready. Brendan is Tetris ready. Ugh, not kind RNG for Brendan, but no. not awful either. That might give uh, Miles a bit of time to get uh, this gap back into his favor. Actually, Brendan with a nice dirty Tetris there. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Meanwhile, Miles is in trouble. Let's see if yeah, you can clear Miles this out. It's gonna be really tough. Down by about four and a half Tetrises. So this is kind of a dangerous situation. He's doing a great job cleaning. Yeah, nice. Very well done. Nicely done. But again, all that cleaning is just means you're not scoring Tetrises. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there are no combos in this game, right? So a lot of times you play the modern Tetrises, you get line, 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 line. You're getting combos. You're getting points for that. Not happening here in Classic Nest Tetris. Um, Brendan with a pretty significant lead. Meanwhile, on the bottom game, they have transitioned. Uh, Phantom with a 70,000 lead, so pretty comfortable considering, uh, I guess he is also behind on some lines, so Phantom with a true lead here on the bottom. An unfortunate placement right there for Anthony to cause him to have to do some digging here. And yeah, the pieces that he keeps getting are forcing him to keep doing that. And now he's blocked off that column. He can't make oh, it all the no. way over. I think that's going to be it for Anthony, it. unfortunately. And that means that Phantom is going to be moving on. Oh, and what a relief. <laughs> the relief. Yeah, there you go. Not to take Definitely. away from that. But uh, up top, I just to let Miles know here, he's behind by quite a bit. He's going to need straight up Tetrises if he has a chance at all. There's one, but he's also going to need BV to mess up. Or uh, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> oh, needs two eye pieces now in order to get these Tetrises. There. No, he couldn't make it. Uh... No, so that means that Brandon is going to win up top as well. The pressure to force to be doing all those Tetrises. And you know, Brandon is just like, I'm just going to do singles until this whole thing's over. Because unless you get Tetrises the whole entire way, you cannot win. And so there you go. Brendan has done it. I don't know if he's aware that he's done it yet, but he is advanced on the winner's side and is going to continue on in the winner's side. Unfortunately for Miles, he's been sent to losers, but right. boom, Tetris. And there you go. Tetris at level 20. Oh, he wants to do it. Hyper tapping away at level 29. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Congratulations to Brendan. And Great there you up. go. Brendan going to take it three to one over Miles. Again, extremely, extremely close matches here. Three to one sounds like it was a pretty, uh, you know, convincing win, but it was a close <laughs> match every single one of those. So great job. Awesome games between them. And uh, uh, yeah, good games to Anthony as well, who is no longer in this tournament, but put up some great games against Phantom, who moves on.